Somalis are ethnically of Cushitic ancestry, but have genealogical traditions of descent from various patriarchs associated with the spread of Islam. Being one tribe, they are segmented into various clan groupings, which are important kinship units that play a central part in Somali culture and politics. Clan families are patrilineal and are divided into clans, primary lineages of subclans and the applying kinship groups. The lineage terms Kabil, Kolo, Yilib and Ra'er are often interchangeably used to indicate different segmentation levels. The clan represents the highest kinship level. It owes territorial properties and typically led by a clan hard or sultan. Primary lineages are immediately descended from the clans and are esogamous political units with no formally installed leader. They comprise the segmentation level that an individual usually indicates he or she belonged to with their founding patriarch reckoned to between six and ten generations. The five major clans, families and the traditionally nomadic pastoralist Isaac, Darod, Hawiye, Dir and the sedentary agro-pastoralist Rahangwen. Minor Somali clans include Benadiri, the Dir, Hawiye, Gardere, Galje El, the Gordia, Garre, Hawadle, and Ajuran trace agnatic origins to the Patriarch Samale. Sheikh Darok is asserted to have married a woman from the Dir while some accounts say Hawiye, thus establishing matrilateral ties with the Samale family. The Darod have separate paternal tradition of descendant through Abdir Rahman bin Ismail al Barti, Sheikh Darod, who is said to have Arabian Banu Hassin origin throat. Aqil Abu Talib Ibn Abd al Mutalib arriving at later date from the Arabian Peninsula in the 10th or 11th centuries. And the Isaac clan traces paternal descendant to the Isaac leader Sheikh Isaac bin Ahmed al has Himi, Sheikh Isaac. However, contemporary genetic studies indicate that none of these clans possess any noticeable Arab ascendancy. The Rahabwain of Sab trace their steer to the Patriarch Sab. Both Samale and Sab are supposed to have ultimately descended from a common lineage originating in the Arabian Peninsula. This tradition of descent for elite Arab forefathers who settled on the littoral and debated although they are based on ill Arab documents and northern oral folklore. A comprehensive Genealogy of Somali clans can be found in Abing, 2009, providing detailing family trees and historical background information. The tombs of the founders 
of the Darod, Bir and Isaac Major clans, as well as the Abqal subclan of the Hawiye, are all located in the northern Somalia. Tradition holds this general area as an ancestral homeland of the Somali people. The traditional political unit among the Somali people has been kinships. The Apayan groups are groupings of a few small lineages, each consisting of a few hundred to a few dozen members. They trace their foundation to between four and eight generations. Members are socially contracted to support each other in general and political duties, including paying or receiving dia or blood compensation, mah in Somali. Compensation is obligatory in regards to action committed by or against a dia paying group, including blood compensation, in the event of the match injury of death. Within traditional Somali society, as in other ethnic groups of the Horn of Africa and the Guider region, there was been social stratification. According to the historian Donald Levine, these comprised high ranking clans, low ranking clans, caste groups, and slaves. This rigid hierarchy and concepts of linear purity contrast with the relative egalitarianism in clan leadership and political control. Nobles constitute the upper tier and were known as Belize. They consist of individuals of ethnic Somali ancestral origin and have been endogamous. The lower tier was designated as Sab and was distinguished by his heterogeneous constitution and agro-pastoral lifestyle, as well as some linguistic and cultural differences. A third Somali caste strata was made up of artisanal groups with were endogamous and hereditary. Among the, ca the caste groups, the Midran were traditionally hunters and circumcision performers. The Tumal, also spelled Tomal, were smiths and leather workers, and the Jibir, also spelled Jibir, were the toners and magicians. According to the astrologist Virginia Lulin, the artisanal caste, caste groups of the North closely resembled the hacker caste kinsmen when generally Caucasian like other ethnic Somalis, although ethnically in this skin cycle from each other. State Mohammed Eno and Abdi Kushov, upper castes have stigmatized the lower ones. Outside of the Somali caste system were slabs of Bantu origin and physiognomy. Their district, physical features and occupation differentiated them from the Somalis and positioned Positioned them as inferior between the social hierarchy. Among Somali clans, in order of strengthen alliance ties, marriage is often to another any Somali from a different clan. According to I. M. Lewish, of 89 marriages initiated by men of the Duhumba Hante clan 55 62 percent were therefore with women of Duhumba Hante subclans other than those of their husbands 30 
33 and 7%, where with women and adjacent clans of other clans' families is a 28, Hawiye 3, where with women of other clans of the Barod clan family, Mayortan 2, Ogaden 1. Such exogamy is always followed by the Dia Paying group and usually added to by the primary lineage, whereas marriage to lineal kin falls within the prohibited range. This traditional structure is against consanguineous marriage ruled out the patriarchal fierce QC marriage that are favored by Arab Bedouins and especially approved by Islam. This marriage were practiced to a limited degree by certain northern Somali subclans in areas inhabited by diverse clans such as the South term Mogadishu area, endogamous marriage also served as a means of ensuring clan sol solidarity in uncertain socio-political circumstances. This in inclination was further spurred or by intercity fit contract with Arab society in the Gulf, where in first cousin marriage was preferred. Although politically expedient, such endogamous marriage created tension with the traditional principles within Somali culture. In 1975, the most prominent government reforms regarding family love in a Muslim country were set in motion in the Somali Democratic Republic, with put women and men, including husbands and wives, on completely equal footing. The 1975 Somali family law gave men and women equal division of property between the husband and wife upon divorce and the exclusive right to control by each spouse over his or her personal property. According to, the, to that from the PEF Research Center, the crew breakdown of Muslim in the Somali majority Djibouti is as follows 77% adhered to Sunnis, 8% are non-denominational Muslim, 2% are Shia and 13 declined to answer and a further report inclusive of Somali region stipulating 2% adherence to a minority section like Ibadims, Quranims. There are some nobles who believe with great pride that they are of Arabian ancestry and trade their stirp to Muhammad I think so Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the prophet lineage of Quraysh and those of his companions. Although they don't consider them 12 culturally Arabs, except from the shared religion, they presume noble Arabian origin gene genealogically unit them. The purpose behind claiming genealogical tradition of descent from the Arabian Peninsula is used to reinforce Reinforce one's lineage and the various associated patriarchs with the spread of Islam.